Hello, and welcome back to Lifeless Planet. Last time we left off just before we were about to uh, jump across this gap and hopefully not get eaten to death. Looks like we pulled it off. Excellent. So let's just continue along this uh, mountain ridge, getting directions from the mysterious person to the left. That is not the right direction. This left. I think I almost walked off that cliff last time, too. Mmm, okay, risky. Okay, risky. There we go. Alright, still alive. And a little less homicidal than Gladys. Which I, for one, think is a positive thing. And... Continuing to not be dead. I like it. Almost missed that jump, though. Okay. Man, it's tough, though, having, uh, played through this part and recorded it already before losing it, because now I just want to make all these comments, and I'm like, wait, did we see that already? Have I shown you that? Mm, whoops. So I'll just keep quiet. Try not to screw everything up. Nope, that's not the way. Maybe this is. Oh no, wait, this one is... Yep, one of those. I was cutting it a little bit close. And I think if you actually attempt the jump, it will spear you. So it's a good thing I didn't. That's... Action music. Is something bad about to happen? I don't think... Whoa! Okay. Big ol' thing. Well, now I know where we are. So we've got a door up there, and a giant thing. Which actually, though we couldn't really see it, is I'm almost certain the other power structure that we were going towards during the uh, nighttime level. What is this? Director's report. The 19th of October, 1978. The green fire is dying out. While the recent release of copper particles into the atmosphere following the explosion contributed to a stunting of plant growth, it could not be the cause for the widespread death we are witnessing across the planet. Perhaps it has something to do with the portal. The last activations were turbulent, to be certain, and the flora and fauna have recently become volatile. Even the planet's larger species are far more aggressive in the aftermath of our interventions. I fear that we may have crossed acceptable boundaries in our experiments. Were the plants always this angry, or are they simply lashing out at us for our failures? These are not the theories of rational men, but science has yet to yield a response. I only hope it is not too late. She may yet save us all. She almost certainly being a reference to the woman that we've been following this whole time, whose name I am really struggling not to say right now. Wow. Over here is some green rocks. We're gonna need one of these. Mm. A little too far forward.
Okay. On our way up. Heck of a view. I mean, at least we don't know where we'll be. At, at least we'd rather do know, don't not know where we'll be going next. Man, English. Such a complicated puzzle. Put the thing in the thing. Can you do it? It's not easy. So there's a giant laser now. Look at that. Not really sure who built all this stuff. Not sure why they didn't just put that way over here. Seems to me that that would have been easier. Rather than have a laser-based energy transmission system. Just, you know, do something else. And actually, I noticed that the elevator was man-made, but the rest, I think, is alien-made, so they... I don't know how they got up there, even. Throbbing music. Everyone loves it. So let's see, is the uh, button combination the same as the other door? No. Well, there we go. And that is how you open a giant door, press buttons until it works. Onward! I have totally forgotten what's next. Which is good. I think. Probably. Oh, yep, yeah, this part. Hot springs. What is that? I want to say it looks like discarded clothing almost, but I think it's just rocks. Big ass place. Very bright. Very, very bright. Wow. Oh, come on. At least it happened as I was using it this time. So... We actually have to ride this. I've entered an area with unusually high geothermal activity. There are hot springs all around and geysers shooting up out of the crust. Not as nimble as the woman at climbing rocks. I wonder if I could make use of the fountains to boost me up. My shoots, but my suit should protect me from the scalding hot water. But it could still be quite a ride. And I pressed the wrong button. Okay, so yeah, we just ride that up here. That was sort of a sudden stop, but I'll take it. So 
So yeah, somehow right next to the hot springs is the stuff that I'm assuming is ice. Or lazily rendered water, because I know there was actual liquid water earlier, at the very beginning. I was running around in it. There's water right here. <laughs> I can just go fully underwater. That's great. Makes sense. I mean, I'm in a spacesuit. It's not like I'm gonna drown, so. Totally clear on where I'm going, actually. Since I still really have no end goal at all, I'm hoping that woman does. More geothermal activity here. I'm concerned the area ahead may include volcanic hazards. But where there's smoke, there's fire, as the saying goes. Well, he is actually correct. This isn't snow, it's ash. Well... Let's see if we can't get to that volcano before we hit 15 minutes. Because obviously getting to the volcano is exactly what we want. Okay. Whoops. Come on. Be pushed. Push. It's not doing a thing. There we go. Right smack on top of it. Really? Oh my god, come on. It's still there. What are you what are you what are you doing? I don't know why this is happening. Okay. But now I don't know which is blocking it. Apparently that one was. And... Now it's not detecting this one! Hooray! Okay. So that blocks it. And then if I just push it away, it comes back. Oh my god. Alright, let's block the other one first. Let's just block the other one first. Kinda hard to see. Unfortunately, there is not a uh, gamma adjustment in the game. Wow, that's just like pure white. So I'll have to do that uh, during editing. There we go, pulled it off. Yep. Neat. Launched by geysers. 
which are only a little bit deafening. And launched very nearly to success with geysers. There we go. Got it the second time. Even though third's the charm, second is the one that works. Because I'm just that skilled. Well, here you go, the volcano. But we have hit 15 minutes, so I will join you guys here next time on the Lifeless Planet.